Governors in other states, including Ron DeSantis here, are concerned about people from New York bringing the virus here. Governor DeSantis is expanding restrictions for people who travel to Florida from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. And he now says anyone who has traveled to Florida from those states in the last three weeks must self-isolate for 14 days. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live this morning. And Ashley, this change is retroactive and violators, they could be punished. Bruce, this is mandatory, and the governor, governor's office says anyone caught violating this order could face a second-degree misdemeanor, which could include jail, jail time, and a fine. Take a look at this video right here. This is video news for Jack's shot yesterday, showing a room not far from the security line at Jacksonville International Airport. Now, an airport spokesperson told us this is the area where New York and New Jersey travelers were being directed after landing. That's where they were given forms to complete from the Department of Health before leaving the terminal. Now, this expansion comes as Governor Ron DeSantis is also asking President Donald Trump to declare Florida a disaster area. Now, in a letter to the president, DeSantis said the coronavirus is having a, quote, drastic effect on the state's economy and medical providers. Now, if he approves the request, Florida would be able to receive federal aid. Now, DeSantis also said in that letter that Florida has already spent more than $200 million on related issues, including unemployment assistance, food stamps, disaster loans, and mental health counseling. He also says roughly 40,400 people people have been laid off from their jobs and requests for unemployment benefits rose to 130,000 in four days last week. There were 28,000 the week before. Now also on the local level, Mayor Lenny Curry is threatening to cut utilities to businesses that don't follow his work from home order. He says buildings could be condemned if employees are not allowed to work from home if they can. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.